Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. You know, for those of you who may not know or may not have noticed, I'm a minority. From time to time, I'll have to encounter and deal with racial slurs. You'd be surprised at the context, right? Sometimes I'll be, let's say, uh, in court and there'll be racial references. You know, sometimes here online, I'll make a video about whatever, some fight, and uh, somebody will, in the comment section, in fact, a few people, will somehow decide that that's the opportunity in their lives for them to try to make pejorative uh, racial references to a minority, right? So the person will say, dumb N or whatever, some kind of crazy uh, post that uses race or ethnicity in some ridiculous way, right? Well, unfortunately, that's what seems to have happened in Macau, where Robert Garcia and Team Rios were working out in a gym, right, after having done an interview that they were asked to do by the promoter top rank, right? So they do a interview in accordance with the event, right? Keep in mind, top rank is promoting the event. Freddie Roach comes in. Obviously, Freddie Roach had an agenda because Freddie Roach starts throwing around curse words and then starts throwing around race references, right? He, you know, calls one guy a Mexican blank. By the way, the guy is Irish. He's not even Mexican, but he has dark skin, right? He looks at another guy. He, you know, calls him Jewish blank. He, um, you know, uses curse words with Robert Garcia, Brandon Rios's trainer. Understand who Garcia is. Garcia is the former IBF super featherweight champion. This is a guy who clearly can defend himself, right? Freddie Roach is in there trying desperately to get a response from him, right? We'll call this a drive-by attack, right? Freddie Roach comes in. I guess Manny Pacquiao was supposed to have the gym for a certain amount of time. Rios ran over because of the interview uh, with the cameras rolling, Freddie Roach, and the videos on BoxingScene.com, Freddie Roach literally goes out of his way to try to offend people. That's how it seems to me. I view this as one way. Now, I know there's an altercation between Freddie Roach and Alex Ariza. In my opinion, that has absolutely nothing to do with Brandon Rios or his team. Nothing whatsoever. Because, um, you know, in my opinion, the bad blood between the guys goes back to when Alex Ariza worked as a nutritional expert with several Freddie Roach fighters at the wild card gym, right? I know Alex Ariza technically was an independent contractor. So you have two guys who have a pre-existing relationship. Freddie Roach challenged Ariza to a fight. Ariza apparently kicks Freddie Roach, if you can believe it. Right Then, of course, Ariza goes further and mocks Freddie Roach's physical condition. Right, I believe that that animus is based on a pre-existing relationship the two of them have. As for the other guys, really, you know, Team Rios was just a victim of, we'll call it a drive-by attack. And let's face it, we know this whole thing was a bit ridiculous because you have guys in there with cameras, right? You have the safety of knowing there are third parties in the room. The third parties weren't going to watch anyone in the room get pummeled. 
So when the guys start saying, make me shut up or make me move and stuff like that, we know that's bogus because there's no downside risk involved, right? If a fight breaks out, that fight is going to be broken up quickly, right? So I can only say that looking at the video <clears throat> and Ellie's setback was there really to me the authoritative source on this is Ellie's setback I've posted a link to Ellie setbacks video on what happened right Ellie setback in fact was the guy to whom Freddie Roach referred to as Jewish as if Ellie's ethnicity had anything whatsoever to do with anything by the way before the racial reference was made. According to Setback, he was completely quiet. In other words, again, this is an attack of the drive-by variety. I'm going to throw what I call a red flag right now on Freddie Roach. Right From time to time, athletes or trainers get so outside the lines that I think we as the boxing public have to tell the guy, you know what, I appreciate your work, but I don't appreciate this, right? You know, if you're going to make racial slurs, uh, please don't do so in connection with an athletic event where I'm trying to figure out how a guy looks in training and you're polluting the scene with your racial bias and idiotic statements. Right, so I'm throwing a red flag on Freddie Roach. I think Team Rios were just innocent guys getting hit with drive-by um, shrapnel. Um, I applaud Robert Garcia. Garcia never, you know, moves toward anyone. He remains seated. He remains calm. He's just the guy waiting for the storm to pass him by. Uh, as Freddie Roach is leaving, Garcia actually says to Roach, look, you know, I've respected your work in the sport, but I don't understand this. Uh, I share those sentiments. Let's just say that this was not Freddie Roach's best moment, right? So red flag on Freddie Roach here. Let's hope this is the end of it. Let's hope that this racial outburst is so poorly received that Freddie understands that it's not worth going down this road again. Let me hear from you. I know this is uh, an issue involving people really outside the ring. Manny Pacquiao is not involved. Brandon Rios is not involved. But you know what? The sport of boxing is involved. And once in a while, in my opinion, we as fans have to slap around figuratively guys outside the ring. Boxing trainers, announcers, networks, you name it. Consider this video to be a figurative slapping of Freddie Roach. Let me hear from you. Thanks for watching.